I reported recently on the uh, December 19th, 2019 Obesity Trends article in the New England Journal. Half of U.S. adults are going to be obese by 2030, and one in four severely obese, as in BMI greater than 35. Again, here's the article, and it's New England Journal, so these guys are supposed to be really good, right? This is the rate of people over 30 on the left and over 35 on the right in terms of BMI. Somebody asked me recently, why don't you focus on fat mass instead of BMI? When you get to a BMI of 30 and 35, it doesn't matter, unless you look like Mr. Olympia. Very few Mr. Olympias are watching this channel right now. Anyway, another way of looking at the data. I live in Kentucky. Again, it, they have a good list of the projected rates state by state. How did they do this? They looked at the Behavioral Risk Factor Survey and National Health and Nutrition Survey in Haines. Both of these are very sound, very good national surveys. They looked at them back the past three decades and projected the next decade. Now, they also did some stuff to adjust and correct biases. What do I think? I'm an optimist. I think we're going to bend the curve. Now, I mentioned that before, and here's a couple of questions. How do I think we're going to bend the curve? Well, one thing is, I think more and more people, I, th I think, uh, for example, people that look th at this channel, subscribers on this channel, are early adopters. I think people are beginning to, to get the message. I need to know if I can metabolize carbs. And if I can't metabolize carbs, I need to get them out of my diet because it ruins my health if I don't. A lot of people are doing intermittent fasting. In fact, over half of the new patients that I get come to me already having lost like 30 pounds or more. Last week, one gentleman had lost over 90 pounds, 95 pounds. And the week before that, someone had lost 125 pounds. I haven't gotten many takers on water fasts, and folks that have problems with obesity often have one of the problems that I have. I actually gained weight again using low-carb intermittent fasting or closing that eating window, and even two-day-a-week water fasts. It was because those 10 meals a week that I was eating, I was really porking up. Way too large a portion. We're getting deeper and deeper in terms of offering services in, in weight management, developing and keeping a healthy weight. If you'd like to take a look, give us a call. Unwrap a healthier you. A lot of people think I've always been thin. I'm actually 30, 30 to 35 pounds below my peak weight. I've had to use uh, caloric restriction, uh, plant-based, low-carb, intermittent fasting, prolonged water fasting, and I'm still starting to creep back up. So my most recent activity is doing some uh, portion control. If you have similar problems and you'd like to, to participate, please let me know. Thanks for your interest.